Hey everyone, welcome to something new we're trying here at Promax. This is our first Promax Marketing Minute, not, not to be confused with our Promax Tech Talks. Uh, the reason we're doing this is we're working on some really cool new software that's going to help video professionals with their marketing and help them be able to create and collaborate to create some awesome video content for their website and for their social media channels. So today it's just Nathaniel and I, and we're going to be talking about the concept of video marketing, why it matters, why you should be doing it, and how it can help you in your marketing efforts. So I looked up some questions that are commonly asked around video marketing. And one of the first one is, is why is it, why is video so important to marketing? So Nathaniel, do you want to touch on that a little bit and we can kind of kick this one off? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, why is video so important? Video is such a natural communication for us because it's got, there's just something so inherent about it. You know, it's, it's almost lifelike. We see the, we see, we hear it's very immersive. Uh, so, you know, it's it's no question. I've got a I've got a two year old and if she has a screen and sees something it, like she locks into it. Right. Um, there's something very simple about that for us. So, you know, I think as far as communication goes, you can communicate a lot of information in a more engaging way very quickly and easily with video. And uh, it's it's just, you know, it's not the perfect format, but it's probably the best for all of that. Um, the the other factor I think is, that's very real and um, why video is so important in marketing is uh, because um, you know I see more and more um, you know uh, I'll call it you know quote millennials everybody's always freaking out about millennials right but I see a lot more uh, millennials you know getting older like I'm technically a millennial I think depending on who you ask I'm almost forty. <laughs> like, uh, but millennials, we all grew up like watching video constantly. So it's a very natural uh, form of communication for people in their 30s and uh, and just coming up on their 40s. And that's a lot of people who are making a lot of doing a lot of research, making a lot of decisions, doing a lot in the world of business and the world of the world. Absolutely. I agree with you on that. Like one of the one of the things I've noticed with video as well as it allows people to really connect with their audience. It's one yeah. of those things anyone can really sit behind a keyboard and write an article. Like obviously someone's some people will be better at it than others. Not everyone can just do it, but yeah. anyone can sit like Wikipedia. Anyone can go on Wikipedia and make a change. Yeah. If you're going to be out there making a video, you're putting some time, some commitment, you're putting your face out there. So people will know who to say is 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 the idiot when if something's wrong. Uh, so it's a it, you have to be confident in it. You have to you have to know what you're talking about. And it creates this this trustworthiness that you don't really get when you're reading just a random article on a website that you found. Yeah, you're you, you're totally right. And it's so funny. Like I've I've seen, you know, everybody's so busy nowadays uh, that, you know, we don't have time for long phone calls and face to face meetings like like it used to happen a lot. People just kind of don't even want that stuff anymore. And you're totally right. Video, you know, in a marketing world, in a business world does allow you to get a little bit more of somebody's personality, a little bit more of who they are. You know, I can see hockey sticks in your background. So like, it's like, oh, Matt and I could talk about hockey. And like you have these little cues that you don't get when you're typing an email. Uh, I find honestly, too, it's really quite nice because, you know, in any sort of email or text format uh, of, of quick communication, um, for whatever reason, we all sound kind of like assholes, <laughs> like yeah. in, in oh, yeah. text. And, you know, you put a, a human behind a camera and have them say the same thing. And, you know, nine times out of 10, whatever is being said is actually friendly. But for some reason, when you just put it purely in text, it's like, wow, what's with this person? Uh, and oh, yeah, you absolutely. get a much nicer absolutely. human touch. I noticed that I noticed that in just relationships I have, like my girlfriend and I, like, when we talk like over text, sometimes I think she's like pissed off at me. <laughs> so but in real, reality, we have the same conversation and she's very excited and very happy about what we're yeah. talking about. But it's yeah. just because I can't see like the subtleties of her, like her face or yeah. what, like how she's saying something or whether there's a tone to it to make it sarcastic. Yeah. And it's like that. And you, you can clearly communicate all that stuff through a video. Like it's very, it's very one-to-one -one. you under, you can get that under, you can get that feeling. You can pick up emotions from it. Um, yeah. 
it's like I actually one of my one of my buddies he does a lot of writing on psychology and stuff and his most recent article was about effective communication and how even though when we're, when you're having a conversation it's mostly people think it's mostly speaking and listening where in reality most of the communication is done without without any sound coming out of your mouth it's through your body language yeah um and it was like this perfectly goes into how video works with marketing. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, it it gives an opportunity for those nonverbals to exist. And I think in you know if we lay that back into the marketing world that that you brought up, uh, you know I I think it's it's interesting. I think a lot of people used to um, spend a lot of time with sales uh, personnel to kind of build a relationship and kind of have a lot of that, like, oh, I'm working with a person feel to an interaction with a company. But so many, you know, so many companies either don't offer that or customers don't want to spend the time to do that. So, you know, video allows you to kind of see a little bit more of that personal touch, that culture from a company. Uh, you know, we work with, we use a lot of HubSpot products and, you know, I've, I've, I can feel some of their culture just in how they use video, uh, and and that's cool, and that that makes me understand their organization a little bit better without ever like having anybody explain it to me, which is really nice. Yeah, absolutely. It allows you to build. It allows you to build a bigger brand identity. Mm -hmm. Like you can you can give some of your personality through text, but you can't really just put it all out there as you can yeah. in a video. You have a lot more freedom to do that. And it allows brands to actually say, hey, here's who we are, like, and celebrate it instead yeah. of trying to make when you're when you're everything's just text, you need to make that as concise as you can to get people engaged, keep people reading. Because I don't yeah. know. I know. I know. I don't want to sit there and read a huge article with three paragraphs of just your personality. Like, I want to read <laughs> the meat. I want the meat and potatoes. And then I, sure. I went out of it. But yeah. if it's a video, I'm I'm willing to watch that because usually it's condensed into a short, short amount of time and still has relevancy <laughs> to the bigger the bigger message. Yeah, yeah. No, you're you're absolutely right, and and I think people have uh, quickly kind of adapted to that. I see a lot more shorter and shorter videos, um, and you know, there's a time for shorter videos. There's a time for longer videos, um, and I think people are starting to learn how to kind of balance that out, um, but. You know, when you look at the function of, um, you know, marketing, marketing's got a lot of functions that, you know, uh, kind of end up in marketing. But, uh, uh, you know, when I when I look at that idea of communicating, you know, who the company is, what they value, those things, I see a lot of people like trying to figure out, like, how much should I be like creating my own brand? You know, like for me, like, should I have my Nathaniel Cooper brand or should I have my Promax brand? those kind of intertwine uh but you know there's a lot of you know kind of business culture now that talks about you know core values and you know all that all that stuff and the the funny thing to me is the more that companies adopt kind of that that vision and corporate value and they hire to that and the more they put their employees on video the concept of like the the corporate culture or your own brand kind of dissolves away and in, into just like conversations like this, where it's like, I'm just talking to Matt, right? But there's probably, hopefully, <laughs> relevant stuff for other video content creators, marketers, other people out there running small businesses that can, can pull information from that. But all I'm doing is having a conversation with you. Yeah, absolutely. And I think once people really start to see the value of what video can bring to their audience, like yesterday, I went to this, I went to a seminar on building like a YouTube studio. And there were, there were people there that could have been my grandparents who were there. Sure. And I was, I, don't, I was kind of floored by that. Like, I wasn't expecting that at all. Like, I was expecting people between your age and my age. And there was a whole row of people in their like mid to late 60s. And I was like, what and the guy next sitting next to me was from the department of homeland security and yeah. he's like he's like yeah he's like i'm really trying to get into this he's like i think it's valuable and he's like but well, that, i don't understand it <laughs> well i'll tell you it's it's funny because i mean you know here at promax we've got you know people of a variety of ages 
Uh, and um, I have seen it play out so true over the last few years. The thing that matters so much these days in, in business and being effective in whatever your role is, is adaptability. Um, and I think video in a lot of ways represents adaptability of people to say, okay, how can I work this into what I'm doing? Because I'll tell you, people that look at, okay, what's my jo job? What's my role? Every job on earth requires communication and video increases communication. So, you know, again, we're looking at it from the marketing side. Um, but marketing is kind of hyper focused on how do you communicate externally to the world of what's going on internally to try to attract or convince or promote or inform or all of these things. And that all requires communication. And, um, you know, video just increases the ability to communicate when it's done properly. Oh, absolutely. As long as you can, hook, as long as you, the video is done properly and you have a, a nice way of hooking people early and driving their attention, you can tell them an amazing story in just a matter, in a matter of minutes. And yep. that's, that's a lot harder to do with text because yep. people just aren't, people just aren't going to read it th these days. They just, they don't have the time. They really don't have, don't care to, to read that much. Well, but text, it's interesting. You can get a lot of like very quick top level information in text. Uh, you know, you can get your bullet points. So like you look at, um, you know, marketing has used email for, you know, probably the last, you know, really strongly the last 15 years, longer than that, certainly. But um, and email marketing is, you know, most people will agree is kind of declining in its effectiveness. But you know, you look at what is effective in email marketing, it's, you know, something that grabs your attention, you know, uh, questions are always good, but then have, you know, in the text of an email, 10 years ago, I was sending these long emails, super detailed, lots of information. People don't want that anymore. It's like, here's the three bullet points of what we're going to cover. And then a call to action to say, you want to dig deeper, go here. And then where you're going, yeah, you can have a longer blog post and that's good, but having a longer blog post with a video, like like we've looked at all of the numbers a million times, like <laughs> you have a long blog post with no video and people start to skim it and bounce out, like attention spans are nanoseconds. You have those bullet points, you click to dig deeper and you've got a video that's two minutes people stick around, they'll watch the whole thing, and that will get more of that communication across that you're trying to do. Yeah, absolutely. And then also, like, as you were saying, email, email is losing that power it had. So now yeah. a lot of the marketing is switching to social media. Everything's on social media now. Mm -hmm. And you've got to be able to take up, take up some real estate, and you've got to be able to take the nanoseconds of attention that are up for yeah. grabs. Yep. Uh, you're not going to do it with some words yeah like unless you were unless you're like verified someone <laughs> everyone knows is looking for yeah. inspiration for if yeah. it's just me my mom might like it a couple <laughs> friends might, might care about it but yeah. if i would put a video up that's when you really like people engage with you like oh i'm gonna stop and i'm gonna watch that like yeah. you can and back to the brand identity stuff a lot of a lot of these brands what they're doing is they're building their identity through video so you can you can be scrolling through through your timeline and you just know instantly that it's a certain brand just off of like one visual cue that they always put in there. Yeah. And it's it's crazy that after we start seeing that stuff over and over again, we're just so attuned to it that we just we just instantly stop. Even if we end up scrolling past it later because we don't care, we don't we don't like what that particular message is. We sure. just know we're in, yeah. that's ingrained in our mind and we see it. Like I've noticed it, like there's certain companies that I follow their social channels and I catch myself like noticing their logo out, like when I'm doing stuff more often now than even like a couple years ago. Yeah. And it's just because you keep seeing it over and over again. And it's, it's one of those things like touch points where you have to, you have to touch people to be able to get them to convert, work with your brand, buy your product. And video is a great tool for that because it's quick and it's simple to put out there. Mm -hmm. So cool. So, well, to that point, so talk to me about uh, how you start doing video marketing, because I know that's something you had mentioned wanting to dig into a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. So 
one of the the big things like the first step i would actually say has nothing to do with actually creating videos at all it's just accepting the fact that it's not as hard as it sounds a lot of i feel like one of the things that people tend to do when they someone comes to them and they're like oh we need to start creating videos oh boy hollywood yeah they think what they see on tv like the pepsi super bowl commercial or something like that and they're like we can't afford that. We don't have the time. We don't have the talent to put that together. Sure. And then they're looking for a production company to come do something like that. And then th that's more steps, more money that's just getting added to this. And they just really overcomplicate it in their head. Yeah. Um, the biggest, that was the biggest thing for us is realizing, hey, we have these crazy things that we have called cell phones. They have great cameras in them. That's all you need. You yeah. need that, a decent microphone and just the ability to go go spread your message yeah that's all it is like it's it's super simple um after that like that without like for us we started getting into a cadence of just hey we're gonna start talking about something that happened during our day and how it relates to what we do and we did that for how many weeks like two months oh, longer than that yeah i mean when you know when we got serious here about video marketing which is funny right because we're a company that has um been focused and continues to focus on like high-end hollywood type video like you know more on the advertising agency corporate side but like the like super high-end video so you know i think to your point and i'll add a little bit of it you know the way to start video marketing is hit record and start talking you know, like I, I, some people love him, some people don't. I'm not a huge Gary Vee fan, but I, I, I love he does have that concept of like, like create a lot and you'll figure out how to make create good stuff. Uh, and, uh, you know, you and I might talk right now for 45 minutes and we might get 45 seconds of really good content out of it. That's great. <laughs> like That might be the content that's that really helps somebody. Uh, but, you know, we started with, you know, a, a really basic structure, like you said, of like, um, OK, look for something in your day and tell a story and relate that story back to what you guys do. Uh, and, um, you know, there were so many times because I did that every day for probably th three months to get us kind of started. Uh, and then. Because we did that, you know, it took me probably a month and a half of doing all of that to start being like, OK, start getting really comfortable on it. Oh, well, I could try this. Well, I could try that. And, you know, I don't like the audio on this or I don't like the background on that, you know, and I, I feel like video is one of those things that people really try to go perfection when you don't need to go perfection. Absolutely. Like, 85 percent. Focus on the content like there are so many brilliant people out there with so much really important information that people need and the people in their LinkedIn feed need that information <laughs> and it's like honest honestly nobody cares like your background right now looks really bad your lighting is bad. <laughs> Like, I don't even know what mine looks like. I don't have my, myself on the screen right now. I don't care. Like, I can, like, I've got a light going. I'll turn it off. Like, who cares? Like, genuinely nobody. Uh, so, like, but what people do care about is having important information that they can learn from. And the way to do that is by getting comfortable and creating content and then continuing with it. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's just start creating and and don't get hung up on on perfect yeah absolutely that was one of our biggest hurdles like once we started bringing the rest of the the tech team in is they always wanted to be perfect and that's part yeah. of that engineering mindset is like yeah. no it's got to be right yeah it, there isn't there is no half there is no three quarters it's it's right um and it was it was funny watching them especially brian like break through that barrier yeah because he struggled with it so hard but after he like he like finally like accepted it he be, he he became one of our most pro like he's in all of our social media videos because he just so much better on camera than i am oh absolutely. <laughs> he's, he's so mad <laughs> like if they had a, if they had emmys for social media marketing he'd be like one of the one of the nominees like yeah. he can just 
and he and he does it so naturally mm-hmm. and that's all he need to do is get like get past that point of perfection and a yeah. lot of people are stuck in that that shell of just like it's not going to look good yeah well the thing is is it may not need to look good it, yeah. as long as it sounds good yep. audio is more important than the video quality so bad, bad audio will kill a good video so that is true um i'll push back challenge that a little because i i've heard so many people say that and i am a former audio engineer <laughs> bear in mind like that's what i went to school for that's what i like started my career in and like still love it i love audio i can geek out on microphones for hours uh, that said uh you know in our audience which should be the most like judgmental in that area because it's professional audio and video people for the first while all of my videos were recorded just with the built-in microphone on my phone and you know it was probably two months into it when i started using a lav and and getting a little bit better with it and it helped a little bit but i think and you can't have like super bad you know don't go in a bathroom and record it where it just sounds like you're in a bathroom but like if you've got a modern phone, you know, that you bought within the last couple of years, uh, most of those, even the built in microphones are plenty good enough. Um, I'm speaking on a laptop right now on the built in microphone on my laptop. And, you know, I could pick it apart of why the audio sucks, but the audio is well into good enough. Um, but I think it's important to remember in a um, marketing world in a in a business marketing world most of what people are learning seeing hearing uh is actually on mute so you know that's a big one so you know bad audio bad audio will kill something but like don't be afraid of like the good enough audio as long as you're clear and like it you can be understood and everything um you know i would rather have not the greatest microphone setup in the world. I'd rather have a microphone from a, you know, Galaxy S9 or an iPhone 9 or whatever. Um, I'd rather have that audio with captions on a video than have a nice, like, lav that sounds amazing without captions. Okay. Well, this is actually a, a really good transition into the next, the next question that was there as to what makes a good, what makes a video effective? For marketing so captions is one of those big things mm-hmm. um yep. like you were saying mo- what is the what is the number like 80 some percent of video is watched on mute so i think so it's 85 percent yeah something up like that's a ridiculous amount of video yes. that isn't being listened to yeah so <laughs> cap- captions are cra- captions are a big thing but for a while they were one of our biggest hurdles like trying to find the right tool that yeah. would allow us to do that Oh, but man. in a way that wasn't time like time consuming and mind numbingly terrible. But that's um, and- that's the exact reason you need to just start creating video because until you're pumping out a video every day, you don't get so annoyed by how long it takes to do that stuff to really start digging and finding a better way to do it. No, oh, absolutely. Like where we are today with our like how our videos are created has been just chipping away, yeah. chipping away at finding what what we can make faster, what we can make easier, and what makes me not want to slam my head against my neck. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so true. Um, effective videos, you know, I would also say, um, I couldn't agree more with you on, on captions. That's like my number one recommendation to people. Um, if you're gonna have a great camera, great lighting, great microphone, like that's cool, but captions are more important. Um, figuring out a way to communicate the intent of that content is really important, especially on social channels. Um, so if you look at you know Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, um, the like quick social channels like social feed scenarios, uh, you know you've got you've got quick seconds to grab somebody's attention. So, uh, you know, cutting videos so you dive quickly right into the topic. And so so that either the first couple sentences that should be captioned 
tell you exactly what that video is about. Or, um, you know, I know you you do a strategy that's a common one. It's a really good strategy. You, you just put the topic at the top of the video. Um, that stuff is really important. You can put it like in the text with the, the post, but I find that doesn't work as well. Um, but uh, figuring out a way to like communicate what this video is about so that you can, um, you know, so that you can communicate to the person that's scrolling by, should they take a couple seconds to watch this video? And the answer is not always yes, you know? So you need to, I think it's on, you know, whoever's creating that video to make that intent of the content very clear. Oh, absolutely. And that's part of the reason I started doing that um, as you're like putting that putting what the topic is right up front. Yeah. And I, I did that based off of something I picked up on my the way I consume social media. Like when I'm when I'm scrolling through, if there's a video or a picture, my mm -hmm. eyes go straight to the picture. I yeah. want to know what that is immediately instead yep. of having so, so for a video purpose. If you're not hitting that point right away and making it clear to me, there's a few things that I now have to do. I have yep. to listen to this whole thing to get the concept and then either decide, wow, I wasted my time yeah. or wow, this is great. <laughs> yep. And two, I then have to take take that all all that information in and interpret what it was even supposed to tell me. <laughs> when, and then yeah. or I have to go read the text in the caption to yeah. to understand what this is for. By putting that right there, you scroll through, you see it. Okay, this is something I care about. This is something I don't care about. And then you either stay or you go. It yep. makes it super quick. It makes it a super natural decision for people. Yep. And yes. since we've started doing that, I've noticed even with our social channel, at least we're not we're still not getting a ton of comments and everything. So sure. everyone watching this, go comment on all of our posts. We'll love to talk to you. Sorry for the simple plug there. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> But we have gotten more people to at least engage with it, whether it's yeah. through likes or sharing it. Yeah. And I think there's there's a there's a definite reason for that. Like people are engaging with this content because it's something they know they want to they they care about right away. Yeah. yeah, no, that's important. And I think it's also important for a lot of businesses too to understand um, you know, the rules of personal social media and the rules of business social media are very different. Um, you know, in you know, I, I throw a picture of my kid, you know, jumping on a trampoline on Facebook and it gets 100 likes like, uh, you know, we're our business. We're in a, a pretty niche market and people aren't spending a lot of time on LinkedIn. Like if we get like three or four likes on a post, that's great. Like that's not really how people engage with, you know, IT companies niched for video production like that's just kind of not how it works. So, right. you know, you have to, I think as a business, you have to, um, you know, be okay with not having that affirmation, but kind of still chugging through and creating good high quality content. And I've seen this with our brand where it's like, that has impacted our, how the market views us, even though there aren't, you know, 200 likes on every post or whatever. So like you've got to you've got to just kind of do it. You know, it's to me, I always um, view a lot of that, you know, video, social media, video content creation, like working out where it's just like you got to do the reps and you're going to see the results later. Absolutely. So and the thing is, is, we wouldn't have done any of this if there wasn't there wasn't a value to it. So sure. to, to one of the other questions that people people ask about video marketing is, does it help your SEO? And the, the answer to that is yes. That is why we started doing this in the first place. Like mm -hmm. we pro we would probably would not be pumping out videos every single day if there was if, if there was no SEO value to it. Yeah. Um, do you want to kind of in, like tell a little bit of our story of how we kind of made that transition? Because you had a lot in bring like making SEO like our big push. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's a SEO is such a huge beast of a topic, right? And it's one of those things like um, that. Video is such a critical part of an SEO strategy, but video isn't an SEO strategy. <laughs> I feel like that's always kind of like SEO is like this this dragon that you have to chase where it's like you have to do that. So is that strategy? No. <laughs> and, uh, 
Yeah, I think, you know, for me, you know, SEO and video and how they tie together, you know, there's, we see more and more with Google utilizing um, YouTube results in SEO. Uh, Cause let's be honest, when it comes to SEO, 95% of what everybody's talking about is Google search results. Like sure, Bing and Yahoo exist. We're all talking about Google search results. Um, and then, uh, you know, second behind Google is YouTube, right? So, um, you know, Ooh, it's there, by Google, <laughs> exactly. Like <laughs> it's all Google. Uh, so, you know, SEO, you know, putting up videos isn't an SEO strategy, but putting up videos that are relevant con content about relevant topics that people are searching for um, is a huge part of our SEO strategy and a very effective part. Um, and I'll, I'll even say, the most fun part, you know, like I would much rather have this conversation, like we'll take this conversation and you'll probably slice it up into like four or five cool little video clips. But the funny thing is one of those video clips will inspire me. <laughs> like I'll be like, oh man, that was a really great point. And then I'll write a blog about what you were talking about and then have this cool video that's very natural because we're just talking right now, right? So it's kind of creating that like natural momentum, that natural creativity um, that that I think ties in very well with with SEO. Um, and, you know, like uh, we did a, a video a few weeks back and uh, we were talking about uh, different backup strategies. And because we did that video and it was just kind of up and on cue, it actually lined up very topically with um, what was going on in um, some election stuff. So, you know, social media 101, like use trending topics or something that's very like now in the moment, and you can grab a little bit of momentum from that. Uh, and it's it's interesting, you know, like we were able to, I was, I was super excited about that. We put out kind of a, a very clever like connection between what was happening in an election and how that relates back to our product and not in a salesy way in a like no like here's the difference between a backup and uptime and people need to understand that like our customers need to understand that and because we have we do these videos because we have this stuff we were able to quickly put that in and um and that that all again that's all kind of part of our seo strategy yeah, absolutely. And it's like, since I'm in it every day, I, I kind of see, I actually see video as very critical to SEO and maybe not in a, as, and actually, as I'm saying this, I'm saying you're a liar because, uh, I was going to, it was a, t a point I was going to bring up earlier. Um, yeah. video I saw, I actually, I saw something today. I was looking up something like how to do some kind of video editing in, um, on, in premiere. Mm -hmm. And I typed in, I was like how to crop out the background or whatever yeah and a, and a video search result was the first thing that popped up and it actually took me to the specific point in the video that it talked about that Interesting. and that blew my mind because yeah. like i started and it was like a 10 and a half minute video and it started me somewhere around like the five and a half minute mark and i was like yeah that's weird so i backed out and it's a suggested start time and it had it and yeah. it started right there so I think I don't, now we're getting to a point with Google that they're able to index that that stuff and be able to understand that oh. what's in video. Oh, so absolutely. it's getting to a point where your video may actually outrank your SEO optimized written blog post with everything, every H1 and H2 tag in perfect proper order yep. and your meta tags. I'm not saying don't don't keep doing that. Definitely keep doing that. But sure your video is going to add to that and give you another thing to rank for. Yeah. And then to go into the topic, um, we were, how we're like, how our marketing and video strategy came together and how it inspires things. It's like I sit. So after we do these talks once a week, I go in and I'm cutting all these clips up and I'm listening to the conversations that we had. And since it's recorded, I'm not going off notes. I'm, I'm actually listening to the, the exact conversation. So I can go back and sit, like you or Brian or Taylor or Mike say something. I'm like, oh, what? Let me, let me listen to that again. Yeah. 
And from there pulls out, like you said, blog articles. Because yeah. essentially all I do for all of our blogs that we that are posted now on all of our social media comes from one long form conversation we have yep. once a week. Yep. And that has that can like there have been some where I'm able to pull out three to four weeks worth of social media clips just because the content was there was enough of that content in there. Yeah. And it's it it may so while it's not an SEO strategy, it allows you to find those blog posts and find those topics that you would yeah. normally have to go searching for and doing keyword research for, and they're just there in front of you. Mm -hmm. So it kind it's it's kind of like a canvas for you to create your marketing picture off of. So while it may not be an SEO strategy, I think it helps. It definitely helps you curate one a lot easier. I, and that's I, something I've learned from some experience with it. Yeah, I couldn't agree more with that. And I, I think also when you, you know, look where Google is going and you just don't think about like, like, look, SEO strategies have to evolve because as Google changes and makes updates, people analyze it and then they say, here's how to do it. And then people start gaming it. And then <laughs> user experience goes down because people are taking advantage of how it's built. And then Google redoes it. That's like, that's, that's gonna continue to happen for years, years and years and years. One of the things that will continue to, to happen is Google, Google does, you know, they really do reward good content and they're going to continue to go down that road. They've been going down that road more and more for the last 10 years and they're going to continue to push down that road. They're going to continue to reward organizations, individuals that are putting out good content. And uh, quite frankly, user experience is higher with video. Uh, you know, it goes back to what we were talking about with communication. So. It doesn't surprise me at all that a search result popped up with a suggested start time in a video. Um, and, you know, as far as like SEO strategies go, you've got to figure out, you know, one of the fundamentals of SEO that never really clicked until maybe a year ago for me is um, you can't just talk about what, what you're an expert at because people might not be searching for that. So you've right. got to start with, you know, and it kind of goes back to keyword research, um, but you've got to start with like, what are people out there wondering about, asking about, searching about? Because if nobody's searching for it, you can't drive traffic with it. It's really pretty simple. Um, so, you know, have, having an understanding of what people are looking for and then fostering conversations like this and capturing those conversations is extremely powerful. You know, I used to try to go about it the complete wrong way, which is like, well, I'm an expert in shared storage, uh, so I'm going to talk about shared storage. I'm going to do a, a blog on NAS, you know, what, why NAS is cool or whatever. Um, terrible topic. It's something I probably would have done two years ago. Uh, but then you like you kind of you want to make it short because it's like, well, I want it to be engaging. But then there's so much more you want to say. But what you're describing now, what we're doing, it's like this long, creating this long form content that people can really go deep into and then pulling these little bits out of it and filling it in the middle is, is, is really an effective strategy. And I'll tell you, I totally believe that Google will continue to push people towards that because like if you look in our content, like, you know, it's actually really well structured of like, you know, somebody might see this as a 15 second clip and then they're going to go to our website and there's a two minute, you know, longer clip with a blog. And then if they go to our YouTube page, now suddenly there's, you know, 45 minutes of Matt and Nathaniel diving deep on this stuff. That's a really good user experience. Oh, absolutely. And it's like, Sorry, I just really wanted to say this. It popped in my head. Yeah. Um, like one of my favorite movies is Shrek, and it's like like ogre ogres are like onions. They have layers. So are so are your marketing topics. <laughs> they have so many layers, and being able to pull that pull those layers apart, and there might be someone like to what you were saying. There may be someone who sees that fifteen second clip, and that might be all they really care about. But yeah. then that might pique their interest. Do they want more? And it allows them to naturally go through that story to get the information they want. They're not being forced from the beginning to consume this entire blog post. Yeah, they might only care about a part of it. Yep. Um, so that it, breaking it, taking a longer, a bigger concept and breaking it down into smaller bite-sized chunks, it allows people to interact with you a lot quicker, yep. a lot simpler, 
and it allows them to get to what they want and then you can move on because that's what that's what they want to do and it's, it's all about user experience to your point like user experience is everything well it's it's their experience and think about our experience too because like right now you know what's so cool to me about video and when you start doing it and locking into it it's it's opened up so much creativity within our own organization like just sitting here and talking to you about this stuff is actually just really fun this is so much more fun to me than sitting in front of a blank screen and being like okay i've got to type out a blog what right. should i talk about absolutely and it's like mulling over words like no, like I just want to have a fun conversation with Matt. This will create content that we that we pull from. And it also gets me, you know, listening to you and then processing things out loud lets me think of things in a different way. And like it makes this whole process really just fun. Yeah, absolutely. And it goes back to what I was talking about earlier about getting over that point of where people think it's too difficult to make this stuff. Mm -hmm. Doing it in this format makes it so simple. You're not having to go to multiple source files, pulling those in, creating a bunch of different clips. You just yeah. have one piece to start with yeah. and you can just pick and choose as you want. If you want short clips, you can do short clips. If you want a couple minute clips, you can do that. And it, it gives you so much to work with. Like it's it was like a gold mine for me. Like the first time we did this and I was like, I started cutting away and I was like, Oh, and it was the best <laughs> moment ever. And that's like, I'm like, we're never turning back, never turning back. That's funny. That's funny. Well, all right. Does anything else that you think we should be talking about? I think maybe next week we should uh, have a topic about some of the problems, some of the hurdles that people come through. Uh, maybe we can yeah. talk about that. Um, so Thanks everyone for joining us. Um, like you heard next week, we're gonna be talking about hurdles that people have when doing video marketing. We'll dive into that a little bit more. If you're not already, check out our social media channels and hit that red subscribe button below. Give us a subscribe and sign up for alerts so you can get all of our notifications when we post new content. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next week.